Some say that fruit is nature's candy. Okay, mom says that when they want you to eat an apple instead of a chocolate bar, but sometimes moms are right. Fruit is sweet, delicious, and good for you, and usually it's pretty cheap. Usually. Did you know that there are some insanely expensive exclusive fruits out there that have rich people bursting out the big bucks? That's right, in today's video, we're talking about 15 expensive fruits only the richest can afford. After you're done watching this video, let us know what your favorite fruit is and how much you spend for a perfect piece of it. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. Number 15. Square Watermelon I first heard about the rise in square watermelon sales in Japan and a few years ago I honestly thought it was a joke. It turns out that it's a serious and lucrative business and that people in Japan are obsessed with spending money on the novelty fruit. It seems that cube-shaped watermelons were invented in 1978 by designer Tomoyuki Ono, who presented them in an art gallery. The public response was so positive that they actually took off as a real product. So how are they square? How is that even possible? Well, the melons are grown in tempered glass boxes designed to alter their growth. These days, they go for at least three times the cost of an average watermelon and sometimes retailing at even $200. The ironic thing is, in order to keep the shape, the melons have to be harvested before they're ripe, so they do not taste good if you try and eat them. While plenty of people are attracted to the fruit for its pleasing aesthetics, a lot of folks consider the watermelons status symbols and will buy them as gifts for friends or business associates. Honestly, I'd rather someone give me 200 bucks than a square fruit. If I want watermelon, the regular round kind that you can actually eat is just fine. But then I'm not rich, so maybe I don't get it. What do you guys think? The rise in square watermelons has led the way to the development of other funky-shaped fruit, and now you can also buy pyramid-shaped and heart-shaped melons. Does that sound enticing enough to lay down the big bucks? Check out these Louis Vuitton bananas. Are these real? Are designers making branded fruit these days? Honestly, after researching for this list, I wouldn't be surprised. It sounds like there's a market for it. And if designers did release a range of fruit, how much would you pay for it? Let me know in the comments section using the hashtag open discussion. Number 14. Sekaichi Apples Sekaichi translates to the world's best, but a more appropriate name for these apples would probably be the world's most expensive. Sekaichi apples are indeed among the most expensive fruits in the world. One apple alone will set you back over $20. The pink apples are sweet and mild, but their most distinguishing feature is that they're big, like really big. The large apples are uniformly round and weigh up to two pounds. The apples are a cross between a golden delicious and red delicious apple and require extra love and care while they're growing. They are even hand pollinated and washed in honey, which sounds like a whole lot of effort. Would you guys lay down 20 bucks on one single apple? I really love apples, but I don't think I would. A regular golden delicious will do just fine. Number 13. Buddha Shaped Pears Okay, all things considered, I actually think these pears are kind of a bargain at just 9 bucks each. Sure, it's expensive, but some people are paying $200 for square watermelons that they can't even eat. So, what's the story here? China-based business, Fruit Mold Company, is working to create avant-garde fruit to appeal to an adventurous customer base. Hot off the back of successful novelty products, like the square watermelon, the fruit mold company is placing infant fruits in shape molds in order to determine the shape they'll grow. It seems that the Buddha shape is particularly popular. I think that these pears are interesting, and I would probably be stupid enough to buy one, but I'm wondering if it's some kind of sacrilege to eat a fruit in the shape of a religious figure. The business could expand and grow fruits in the shapes of animals and celebrities. That's actually a great idea. I better get my patent ready. While funky shaped fruit may seem like a cool thing to have, some people think that a rise in the aesthetic fruit trend is leading to major fruit waste. Perfectly good fruit that doesn't quite fit the right look is getting tossed out, which is a problem. 
Number 12. Heligan Pineapple This pineapple isn't for sale, but if it was, it would cost in excess of $1,200, although effectively, it's priceless. So what's the deal with this quite literally golden fruit? While pineapples are native to South America and are more closely associated with tropical climates, it seems that back in the Victorian era, pineapples were grown in Heligan Gardens in Cornwall, England. These days, gardeners have decided to painstakingly revive the practice. In July 2019, after an arduous two and a half years of growth, two pineapples were harvested. It was reported that the labor hours spent cultivating the exotic fruit, the transportation costs, and maintenance of the fruit cost over 1,000 British pounds, which equates to $1,240. I was grossed out to learn that the fruits are grown in pits that are heated by a continuous dump of decomposing manure and urine. Suddenly, the price tag is sounding pretty unreasonable. Apparently, though, despite being grown in manure, the pineapples are delicious. Of the two harvested, one was eaten by the staff who worked to grow them and the other was given to the Queen of England as a gift. Why do rich people always get expensive gifts when they're the only ones who can actually afford to buy them? I kind of love that the British aren't quitters. Even if it takes them two and a half years to grow just two pineapples, they're down to do it. That being said, it does sound kind of like a waste of time. But then maybe that's what British people have to do to keep the Queen happy. Number 11. Japanese White Strawberries To me, a white strawberry makes me think of underripe fruit. If I'm paying the big bucks for strawberries, I want them to be big, juicy, and bright red. That doesn't fly in Japan, though. Farmer Yasuhiro Tashima claims to have spent years cultivating the perfect white strawberry. He says he crossbred different types and was able to create something purely white on the inside and out. The strawberries are grown with very little exposure to sunlight, and only 10% of the crop actually turn out white. Others develop undesirable pink patches. This rare fruit goes individually for $10. $10 for one strawberry? That's ridiculous. Although in their defense, they're like three times the size of a normal strawberry, but usually you can get an entire pack of regular strawberries for just two bucks. The grower spoke to the press about the product and said, the flavor is something deep, something that doesn't have a huge impact, but it does give you a slightly mysterious feeling and finally you understand. And it's really, really tasty. I don't know about you, but I want my strawberries to taste like strawberries. If people are attracted to them for their unusual color, I wonder whether one day fruit growers will start creating other shades. Would it be possible to grow a blue strawberry, for example? Decopan Hybrid fruits are for rich people, or so it seems. Decopan are hybrids between a mandarin and an orange. The decopan fruit is a popular after-dinner gift at upscale Japanese restaurants where customers might receive one as a token of goodwill and gratitude. The fruits were first cultivated in Japan in 1972 in order to try and compete with American California oranges. The citrus fruits are seedless and are held as the most delicious fruit of their kind. The fruit is characterized by its sweet taste and its unusual shape. It has a large bump that sticks out the top of the fruit. Allegedly, Decopan sells for $80 for six, so over $13 each. I get that they're tasty, but I think my wallet would prefer a regular orange. Outside of Japan, the name Decopan is applied to other oranges that don't meet the Japanese standards and go for much less in value. Sambikia Queen Strawberries In Japan, perfect strawberries are often given as gifts like boxes of fancy chocolates are in the West. Oh, and they cost way more. The reason they're so expensive is because they're a beautiful shade of perfect red with deep green stalks. Each strawberry is consistent in size and shape, and they look very aesthetically pleasing. Pretty as they might be, they cost $85 for a pack of 12 so just over $7 each. These make popular gifts to friends and family on special occasions or to love interests when the gifter is trying to impress. The strawberries can be found at the flagship store of the Sambikia Fruit Emporium in Tokyo, which has been run by the same family since 1834. It's said that the family are descendants of actual samurai. Whoa, 
The high-end food parlor could easily be mistaken for a designer fashion store like Chanel or Gucci. The fruit is displayed in glass cabinets, a lot like expensive pieces of jewelry. This kind of puts my local Walmart fruit aisle to shame. The store is frequented by members of high society looking to lay down their cash, and it also houses a cafe where customers can buy fruit delights such as the Ginza Parfait, which is a comparative steal at just under $20, although that is still pricey for a dessert in my eyes. Also on the menu are fruit salads, fruit pies, fruit sandwiches, and fruit punches. I have to admit, they do all look beautiful. <laughs> Kopua Su. Have you ever heard of a Kopua Su? I had never heard of it until I started researching for this list. Maybe that's because I'm not rich enough. It seems that the Kopua Su is a Brazilian alternative to chocolate and is delighting people who can actually afford to get their hands on the rare fruit. Kopua Su trees grow in the Amazon rainforest and it's said to taste like a cross between chocolate, melon, and pineapple, which sounds delicious. The fruit is said to be rich in good fats, high in antioxidants and nutrients, and is great for treating skin conditions. It looks like it's so much more than just a tasty treat. It even sounds like it might be magic. If you want to eat it in candy form, there's a company called Emma Chocolate that's creating gourmet bars of the stuff, although they're just very hard to get a hold of. The entire Kopua Su was said to cost $250. That's one pricey piece of fruit. Although it's not that much if it really is magic. Magic chocolate? Now there's something I want to get my hands on. <laughs> Buddha's hand. What a weird fruit. A lot of the fruits on this list have been perfect, beautiful whole fruits with an eye towards symmetry. The Buddha's hand fruit is a bizarre citrus fruit that's kind of like a cluster of long thin lemons, except without the juice. They are all skin and pith. This is basically one big zest opportunity. If you don't want to eat it, plenty of people use the Buddha's hand fruit as decoration. In China, the fruit is often displayed to encourage good luck. In Japan, you may see people exchanging these curious fruits as gifts on New Year's. Buddha's hands originated in Asia and are thought to have first arisen as a genetic mutation. That makes a lot of sense because look how strange they are. They're very rare outside of Asia, but if you're willing to pay a reasonable amount, you can get them in some specialty markets in the West. Densuke Watermelon More designer watermelons are up next, and this one will set you back about $4,000. These precious watermelons are another Japanese trend in the expensive fruit category and are arguably one of the most striking. They are notable for their shiny black skin and their extra sweet taste. From the outside, they could easily be mistaken for a jet black bowling ball, although you wouldn't want to throw this one around. The fruit is exclusively grown in Hokkaido, which means only a limited amount of them go on sale each year. I guess these melons are kind of like the champagne of the Japanese fruit industry. The fruits average at thousands of dollars each, although the highest price ever paid for a Densuki watermelon was at the Maruka Asahikawa Wholesale Market in 2007 when a single melon sold for $8,100. Now that's just madness. <laughs> Sado Nishiki. Unless you're buying super locally, cherries aren't that cheap anyway. Before I knew about the insane expensive food industry, one place I would have assumed that cherries would be cheap was Japan because there are so many cherry trees. It turns out though, most of them are blossoming but not fruit bearing. Who knew? Anyway, cherries are often considered a luxury item in Japan. The most sought-after cherries are Santo Nishiki cherries which are grown in the Yamagata area. The stone fruits turn a vibrant shade of bright red when they're ripe. Check them out! When I say bright red, I mean bright red. They almost look like tomatoes to me rather than the dark red cherries I'm used to seeing. The best of the Sado Nishiki crop comes with a high price tag. They're considered to be the most expensive cherries in the world. Fun fact for you, did you know that cherries were introduced to Japan in the late 1800s by a German trader? It was discovered that the Japanese climate is great for cherry growth. <laughs> Ruby Roman Grapes Would you pay $11,000 for a bunch of grapes? No? 
You probably wouldn't, because if you would, you'd probably be on your yacht feeding expensive fruit to sharks with your feet resting up on a square melon and using a footstool not to watch this video. Seriously, any of you watching willing to pay thousands of dollars for grapes? Grapes are cool and everything, but come on. Ruby Roman grapes are much coveted pieces of fruit in, you guessed it, Japan. These grapes were hand cultivated to be perfect. They were selectively bred to produce the perfect size, color, and taste, and are often known as the treasure of Ishikawa, the area of Japan they're grown in. Every grape in the bunch must weigh at least 20 grams and have a sugar content of 18%. These grapes are constantly making headlines, and in 2016, a bunch of 26 grapes sold for 1.1 million yen, which at the time was around 11,000 bucks and $370 per grape. $370 for one bite? That's wild. At this point, I'm starting to question whether or not the rich people actually eat the fruit or if they just buy it to have it. Is the fruit like a collector's item or something? Art Banana This isn't just any banana. This is worth $120,000. Maurizio Catalan created a tongue-in-cheek art piece called Comedian in 2019 and premiered it at a champagne-filled opening at Art Basel in Miami Beach. News of the potassium-rich artwork drew wide-scale media attention for the artist, who also made headlines when he installed a solid gold toilet in New York's Guggenheim Museum. The banana was taped to the wall of the gallery with gray duct tape. Three bananas were used in the artwork, which was valued at $120,000 to $150,000. What kind of world are we living in where some people grind in day in and day out to put food on the table when another person tapes food to a wall and earns over $100,000? The world has gone insane. This isn't the only piece of fruit to draw attention at art houses. The so-called artwork is evocative of Yoko Ono's famous 60s artwork, Apple 1966. John Lennon famously took a bite of the work, which is how the pair were said to have met. A pretty bold move on his part, but then again, he could afford a pricey apple at that point. It turns out that a gallery goer did eat the comedic banana, although they were reprimanded, and the artist simply taped another one to the wall. <laughs> Mango Egg of the Sun Tayo no Tamango mangoes are grown and sold across Japan, home of the crazy expensive fruit. The name translates to Egg of the Sun, and the fruit is a symbol of status and wealth. The fruit was brought over to Asia from Florida, but the utmost care is taken in Japan to provide the perfect growing conditions. The mangoes are perfectly ripe and are farmed using nets. While a Florida mango likely wouldn't set you back more than a few dollars, even in an expensive grocery store, Egg of the Sun mangoes have been known to fetch crazy prices. Regular Egg of the Sun mangoes sell for around $50, which is more than I would want to pay for a meal, let alone a piece of fruit. However, some have attracted insane bids at auctions. In 2017, a pair of Egg of the Sun mangoes sold for $3,744. I don't get it. Do you? This is like hundreds of times more expensive than even the most expensive meal I've ever eaten. And for two pieces of fruit, I'm shocked. The Perfect King Melon At this point, you'll know that a lot of rich people are happy to bring out their checkbooks for an expensive melon. That said, does anyone actually still write checks these days? Anyway, at this point in our video, I thought that nothing would shock me anymore, but hearing that in 2016, a pair of melons sold for 3 million yen, or $28,000, has actually really surprised me. Some people barely make that in a year. Can you seriously imagine spending that much money on two melons? But the madness doesn't stop there. In 2019, Tokyo's Poka Sapporo Food and Beverage LTD bought a pair for 5 million yen, which is $46,000. I can't believe it. That's the price of a really sweet new car. The melons that fetch the high price tag are Yubari King melons, which are grown in a specific region and are held for their sweetness. The melon is a blend of cantaloupe and is noted to have a very smooth rind. But again, would you prefer to have two melons or a car? Even if you don't drive, you'd get more use out of the car than that fruit. So there you have it, guys. 
That was the 15 expensive fruits only the richest can afford. What do you think about this list? I kind of think that the buyers must be kind of mad. If rich people are in charge of the world and they make decisions like spending nearly 50 grand on a pair of melons, like, how is that okay? And I thought I was angry about the fruit. Anyway, don't forget to let us know what your favorite fruit is, how much you would pay for that perfect piece of fruit, and what the most expensive piece of fruit you ever bought was.